I mentioned Mita Warwick Fuller. That's a name that's very important to me because Mita Warwick Fuller was a pioneer sculptor and um, she had gone to France and uh, studied and uh, worked with Rodin. And I remember where we used to swim at the Highland Beach, that is over there near where we lived. I was uh, with Harry T. Burley and Rita Warwick Fuller uh, to talking about my career and, and uh, Mita's career in France. And they both said, Lois, you know, you're not going to make it in this country. It's uh, true, you are very talented, but um, uh, because of the situation, uh, you're not going to be able to uh, have any success with your, your career. You're going to have to go abroad. And that was a great inspiration to the extent that I immediately set my goal to go to France to study. And uh, so it was in 1937. I went to France and uh, st studied uh, on a fellowship at the Academy Julia, where uh, Nita Warwick Fuller had also studied. My career really was formed on this island when I was about 17 years of age and was advised by Harry T. Burley and Mita Warwick Fuller to go to France. And uh, when I got back to States, I went to 57th Street. He said, you're an excellent artist. Impressionism is excellent, but you're black, so we can't show your work. We can't exhibit your work. And I couldn't really get into the major shows because of my color. So I shipped my work, put them in crates, sent them to the National Academy of Design, the Philadelphia Academy, and uh, to major galleries, Chicago and all. Invariably, they were hung, but they never knew that Lois Jones was black. And uh, I felt to do that for a number of years until I made my niche. And then I let them know that who I was, really. They didn't know for many years. And uh, it, it was a shock. I mean, they just didn't think that a black artist, you know, could, could do that, that type of work. And if you could, I mean, they weren't going to give you a chance anyway. So that uh, it was, hasn't been easy.